New reports coming out of Lesotho say its Prime Minister Thomas Tabane has fled the country under threat from a coup. The Kingdom of Lesotho is surrounded on all sides by South Africa, and it's reported that's exactly where Tabane has gone. The BBC was able to speak by phone with the Prime Minister, who expressed concern over a military takeover in Lesotho. What is happening are the activities by the army that render a government dysfunctional amount to a coup. I'm phoning you from outside Maseru. I've got information that this morning they were going to pay me a visit. Maseru is Lesotho's capital, and it was here where the military reportedly surrounded government and police buildings and gunfire was heard, according to ENCA. The outlet says all this comes a day after police banned an anti-government protest that was planned for Monday. The military holds that its actions were in the interest of safety. Apparently, it caught word police were going to arm members of a political faction that backs the prime minister. This group would have served to oppose any anti-government protests. SABC reports the country has faced political unrest for months. The deputy prime minister has been threatening to force out Tabane for some time. Back in June, the prime minister suspended parliament in an apparent attempt to avoid a motion of no confidence. Tabane insists he has one goal as prime minister, to stop government corruption, and he says this alleged coup could be the result of that goal. For Newsy, I'm Micah Sargent.